Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, truth is, we don't have any 5G yet. Also, you will realize we have no summer yet. <laughs> and that's no school yet, university. But nonetheless, welcome to the 5G uh, summer school here, organized by Norma and uh, quite a few other players. Um, cellular has come a very long way, I have to say. So we started quite a while back, you know, 2G, 3G, 3G, we started, the internet wasn't even running, we're still nailing the ethernet cable uh, to the walls of the dorm, we're still uh, deploying routers, and we already started actually designing the, uh, uh, the 3G network. Now, 4G came along when actually we didn't have any um, iPhone yet out there, we just thought, you know, something will come, we felt it as engineers, started to design the uh, 4G network, and now we're in the very same position again. We as a community have a responsibility to design what we refer to as the 5G network, not understanding really well what will be the next thing uh, to come. Uh, we're trying to come to terms, we're trying to come up with uh, you know, KPIs as we call them, key performance indicators, which somehow justify that we need uh, 5G to come in, in 2020, 2025. Um, predictions have always been uh, very lousy, but something will come, we're sure of that, so we'd better get our engineering act together and really start designing that type of system. Um, now, we, we have an understanding that 5G will again go um, in terms of increase of rates, so we want to have you know, a 10 times increase of the data rate over the interfa interface. We also understand that probably it will be going around connecting more things the Internet of Things, a hot term, we've been talking about the Internet of Things since 1970-something. So maybe with chat 5G finally it will happen. Let's see uh, what time will tell. And also the third dimension will clearly be along criticality and reliability of the network. Now in terms of the first point, uh, the rate, a um, few of you will know this, that the uh, cellular capacity has increased over the last um, 35 years by a factor of about uh, 1 million. Now it's a bit more, a million. So that means uh, if you actually digest how much was responsible for what in that factor of 1 million, you figure out that the new interface had an in impact of a factor of 5. Not bad. Spectrum had an impact of 25. And uh, making the cell smaller had a whooping impact of 1,600. So you know where the bets are. The bets on making essentially the cells smaller, and that's what's happening. Millimeter waves is a good indication of that. Uh, the bets are also that we need probably more spectrum, and clearly the millimeter wave spectrum is a, a good asset to have in the future. Now, from an architectural point of view, this will give us a lot of challenges, and that's why we, as a, you know, from the 5GPP Norma project, which is dealing a lot with the architectural uh, issues. We thought we need to organize that summer school so the audience really understands what it is all about because a lot of the big questions to be solved will be architectural questions. Now, uh, in terms of delay, uh, sorry, in terms of the, 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 the Internet of Things devices we can connect, we had a few technologies out there trying to do that. We had you know, Bluetooth deployed, and Bluetooth probably is the most successfully deployed infrastructure on the planet which is not being used at all. About 8% uh, of the whole population is using Bluetooth even though everybody of us carries a Bluetooth base, uh, base station with us, right? So it's quite an achievement, uh, really well deployed, totally underused. Now then came Zigbee, we tried with Zigbee, it's, it's going okay but it's not connecting the billions of devices. We now have the low power area networking systems like LoRa and Sigfox that work all well, so my company is using them successfully. Um, but it's clearly not that global standard as 3GPP offers. So let's see if 3GPP gets the act together and comes up with a good solution. Actually, the cellular solution today is already really powerful. Um, we've done some calculus a few years back, and LTA, so the real 4G, is able to connect 15,000 sensors to an E-Node B without anybody noticing. 15,000, right? So that's almost a billion sensors if you scale it up globally. That's quite an achievement, but we want to top it up, really. We want to make sure we can connect maybe 300,000 sensors to a base station to really be able to, to connect these trillions of devices, uh, enable roaming, billing, authentication, you name it. So it's quite an interesting tech road ahead. We also 
look into criticality um, in terms of delay, and I presume that will be discussed quite a lot today. Um, how do we really make sure we get a very short delay? Is it a millisecond, is it 10 millisecond, is it 50 millisecond? If you want to know the answer, and if it doesn't come up in these three days, come and visit our 5G tactile internet lab, where we have experimentation <coughs> which can show you really what it is in terms of the actual delay we need to cater for. Um, so I, I wish you a, 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 a fantastic stay over the next three, three days, really. Um, I'm glad it's raining outside, because that means you're actually staying inside there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have to say that, uh, just so you know, we are, it's the first time we're using a 360 camera, okay? So you're all on the screen as I'm on the screen. Um, if somebody doesn't like to be on a camera, they should move a little bit up the, up the road because um, we want to really make sure that you know we get a 360 view of what's going on. It's an experiment. We don't know whether we're going to publish that, but there's a good chance we will, right? So when you'll be checking emails, everybody can see that, so just be careful <laughs> with that, okay? I would also like to say thank you to all the organizers, really, and particularly in, in my team, Vasily, Stan, and all the crew here has made it possible. 5G Norma and the European Commission, I hope we're going to stay in the EU uh, for the project support and, of course, all the fantastic speakers you will be seeing over uh, the next hours and days. So with that, I would like to uh, open the 5G Norma Summer School and enjoy the day. Thank you very much.